If you want this rare sign of the Battleborn emblem, make sure you like and comment on every video this week. Um, What's going on YouTube, Sam's here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys, and believe me when I say this, the best strategy for Atheon challenge mode. Guys, if we were thrown a challenge and your boy Snipes was like, hold up, there's got to be an easy way to do this, and putting two and two together, it was such an easy thing to figure out, guys, and I'm so, so happy to bring this to you guys so you guys can utilize it and get it done and laugh at Bungie when they said that this was the hardest challenge that they've created. I promise you this is going to help you guys out, and if it doesn't for any reason come visit our live stream or read the description below how you can get your guaranteed run for yourself now let's quickly talk about what the challenge is well the challenge is that you have to only kill one oracle each individual you cannot kill more than one if you're one person and that means that three people on the outside three people on the inside you're gonna have to cycle in and what do you see on your screen that's the genius of snipes baby telling my team like look once we get the relic all you got to do is get as close to the portal as possible and what you do is you go ahead and cleanse and they run out at the same time that way they are not marked when they go outside and the guy with the relic always usually kills the fifth or sixth oracle depending on how your team is doing in terms of getting in quickly get into the middle and you guys are going to be able to two wave this and the way you're going to do it is you want to have this setup all right what we had was we had Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun, we had Sticky Grenades, we had Gallahorns, we had Snipers, High Impact Snipers. You want to go all the way down to when there's about 3 seconds left. We went all the way down to 2 seconds left because we were safe, but you can definitely do it down to 3 seconds and then jump out. One more thing guys. Keep in mind, you're going to most likely get this done in two waves, okay? So what you want to do is make sure that when there's about 10 seconds left to go ahead and start killing the harpies that blow up on the right and left. The reason why is you're going to do it in two waves most likely anyways. So shit, why are you trying to get them down to 10% health? Go ahead and get them down to about 40 or 35% health and focus on those blowing up harpies so you could have a successful second wave. Now lucky enough, I got to carry the relic once again. You're going to make sure that you have people that know what they're doing with this relic, guys. It's very, very important. You're a very key part of this team and everybody needs to be attentive they need to know that hey i need to destroy my oracle i haven't done so yet and if you notice here we actually destroyed the oracles out of order which we thought we we're gonna mess up but hey guess what myth busted i guess you don't mess up when you do that times vengeance in the middle sticky grenades sleeper simulant is so so powerful guys if you have a sleeper simulant pull that shit out and destroy atheon with it guys i'm so happy to bring this strategy to you guys i really hope it helps you guys out once again if you need help come connect with us on our social media outlets everything you need to know is in the description below twitter youtube everything you guys are on youtube i'm saying some crazy things it's super late right now it's 6 a.m the dedication is real to grow this family make sure you guys hit subscribe if you like this video a lot more awesome videos coming out for you guys we carry in trials every single day trials is live trials weekly videos new vendor videos, new glitches, new everything. So thank you for joining the TKO Gaming family. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I post a video. And Snipes, we'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Peace out.